Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a database in Microsoft Access 2016. So what is a database? A database is basically a piece of information or a set of information with the help of which we can generate reports, create forms or create a query. So if I put it in simple terms, a database is the soul of access. Without database, access cannot do anything. All right. So there are different ways of creating a database. We can either go for online templates that which are available or we can create a database right from scratch by building my own tables, forms, reports and etc. All right. Now in my next slide, it is showing you what are the different way that we can create a database. Out here it is saying that we can create a da database using a template. So it is referring to an online template. If you open your access out there, if you go under the file tab and under the new tab, you can see all the online templates which are readily available. You can simply double click on it and start creating a database from there or we can create a database without using a template. So without using a template is that we build a database right from the scratch where I define my field and I define my uh, data types for each and every field. The next thing is uh, you can copy a database right from another source into our access table. Access is also giving an opportunity where I can import a data from a different source altogether. All right. So we will go ahead and build a database right from the scratch in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a database in Microsoft Access 2016. So we'll go ahead and create a simple database so that we get a basic understanding how a database is being created in Microsoft Access 2016. So I'll simply go to the file tab and under the file tab, I'll select new and I select a blank database. So I'll simply double click on this. Now I can see that by default, Microsoft Access has created a table which can be seen on the left hand side and it has named this table one. Now before I start off with table, let me show you. So out here you can see the table tools. Now under the home tab, you can see the ribbons. In this ribbons, I have different groups. As you can see, I have group record group, sort and filter, clipboard, views and text formatting. From these ribbons, I can basically do the edit or we can make this required changes as per our requirement. All right. So we can basically sort or filter a data. We can save a data. We can check for spelling errors. We can add some total. We can refresh data. And this is some text formatting, making it bold, italic or underline. All right. So now this is about the layout or basic layout of uh, access. We'll move to this navigation pane and under the navigation pane, you can see this table. Now, what are tables? Now, before we get started off, let's try to understand what are tables. Tables are basically basically a place where we can enter the information of our database. That means if I want to create, enter a new entry, I will enter this as in table. All right. In table, I will have all the records which are be requirement, which will be required for our access database. We can create multiple tables and we can link those tables as well. We will see how to link the tables in our later videos. Now, first we'll go ahead and create a simple database. So in order to do that, I can create a database or we can create a table structure from here as well or we can go it's suggested that we should go under the view tab and under the view tab we should go to the design view firstly it is asking me to save this table yes we'll say sample database or let's say we'll make this as customer database which will make more sense right we will name this as customer database and simply hit ok now you can see this is under the design view now under this design view we can create a database all right so there are two ways we can do it from data sheet view as well but it is mostly suggested that we do it under the design view now whenever i create a database we need to assign a primary key now what is a primary key primary key is basically for unique records so that it does not duplicate anything so basically Basically, every record will be having a unique ID by default it is taken as ID and it has automatically uh, assigned it a primary key. Now, if you want to assign a primary key to a different field, you can simply right click on that field and assign a primary key to this. This is completely your wish. All right. So now by default, it is taken as auto number. Now, if you can 
click on this drop down menu I can select any of this uh, data type so short text is basically used for let's go and create while creating I'll explain you what this particular database will do or this particular data types will do all right so I will start off let's say with the first name so this this particular field name should be first name and if I go on this data type if I click on this drop down menu I have all these options all right so basically we can select a short text wherever I want to enter a name or a phone number now a short text can be a phone number and a zip code as well it does not require that it should be a text only it can be a non-related number as well that means uh, that whenever there is no calculation involved like if we select a number if you want to select a phone number so at that time we do not multiply the phone number so we can use short text at that instance so we'll take uh, for first name we'll take this as short text all right for last name obviously it will be again the data types out here will be for short text again you can also make it as a long text where I want uh, there should be no limit for the characters now if you see for short text the field size is 255 but for long text there's no limit so you can select the way you want now I move on with the next one let's say that I want the address right address will again keep it as long text because the address can go as long as it possible but it does not exceed more than 255 characters so it's totally up to you whether you want to select a short text or a long text all right guys so moving on with the next one let's say that I would like to see the zip code all right so if I take this as zip code let's my postal code if I go this drop down menu I can select anything so as I told you I can also select a short text for this particular field right so I'll again select this as short text now I will add one more menu that will be for let's say the city and I will create a drop down menu this as short text okay perfect now I want to create a new tab whether basically this is my customer database now whenever I have customer database I would like to send out some emails to them if I wish to write so if I want to send out some emails I will create a emails box right and out here on this drop down menu uh, I can select field which says a uh, lookup wizard now why I'm using this particular lookup wizard now let's say that I want to create a drop down menu whether that's particular customer would like to receive the mail or not receive the mail all right so basically this is uh, rather than saying the mailing list I will rather name this as mailing list okay and if I go on this drop down menu I can create a drop down menu which 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 will say that whether it he, he needs to get the mail or not as yes or no so I'll go on this lookup wizard now basically what it is asking me uh, I want to look up field to get values from another table or a query no I would want to create my own values so I'm selecting this I will type my own values I hit next so basically it is asking me what should be your drop down menu consist of I said it should be yes and no or let's say maybe okay it can be that whether you want to wish uh, maybe when special offers are there right so this is a drop down menu that we have created I simply hit next for this now what label would you give for this lookup field yes I would like to this, give this lookup field to this particular mailing list and I would like to limit the choices to this list only they cannot select anything else now if you want to allow them to use multiple values you can also do that but I want to limit them to a particular list itself I simply hit finish now let's go ahead and see whether I have this drop down menu or not but before doing there let's go ahead and type some more database let's say I want uh, their um, dates as well like when they have visited our company and uh, bought some product so let's say their start date or let's say let's take their, this as date of birth I would like to know their date of birth as my database so if I go under this drop down menu I, this time I will select the date and time alright so basically it will restrict them to only select data, date and time only nothing else can be selected alright and the last menu let's see what we have options so all, I have com almost covered each and every data type a yes and no okay so basically we can create that uh, whether you want this particular item to do you live uh, yes they live in the city or stay in the off uh, off skirts of the cities for that particular event I am creating a new field and that new field will be that uh, location 
of city and for this particular database or for this particular field I will create a yes and no object alright so basically I've selected this as yes and no object now the structure of my database is almost ready now let's go ahead and add some records to it so I'll have to go under the data sheet view right I'll simply select data sheet view you want to save the table yes I would like to save the table now it has automatically taken the ID as one it will take the ID as one I'll take a normal uh, entry let's say clo okay their her last name let's say Teresa address 13th Avenue Street right uh, zip code it can be any random zip code so this is what I have entered city and random city let's say NY New York mailing list now if you go under this mailing list we have created a drop down menu right so if I select this I can only select this options so yes no maybe I can select so I say simply select yes now if I go under this date field you can see there is a check uh, there is a calendar picture you can see the, there is a calendar if I click on this calendar you can select the particular date right so from here I can select any date the date of birth right so it takes it takes random dates from here alright and the last one whether the location I'd like to just a sec I will expand a bit so it's the location is out of city or yes yes so I'll select this checkbox for location of the city yes or no as a checkbox alright guys so this is how you can create the structure and you can how you create a database in Microsoft Access 2016 alright so if you move on to the next one let's take any random Smith Shane right take any uh, add a different address like 5th Alpine Road right uh, zip code random zip code state NY again yes again we'll select this drop down menu as no okay you can select a date of birth from here okay we can toggle around using this uh, arrows okay and a checkbox now if you see it automatically gives it's a unique ID number so every record has its unique ID number it cannot be duplicated so this is how you can create a simple database in Microsoft Access 2016